so let's see what we got then. Uh, just another mad one requests Alfieri's opening monologue from A View from the Bridge by Arthur Miller. Familiar with the work. Not Guy Fieri, no. Alfieri. I don't even know that I'm pronouncing that right. Let's see. <clears throat> you wouldn't have known it, but something amusing has just happened. You see how uneasily they nod to me? That is, that's because I am a lawyer. In this neighborhood, a meet. In this neighborhood, to meet a lawyer or a priest on the street is unlucky. We're only thought of in connection with disasters, and they'd rather not get too close. I often think that behind that suspicious little nod of theirs lie three thousand years of distrust. A lawyer means the law, and in Sicily, from where their fathers came, the law has not been friendly a friendly idea since the Greeks were beaten. I'm inclined to notice the ruins and things. Perhaps because I was born in Italy. I only came here when I was 25. In those days, Al Capone, the greatest Carthini Carthi Carthaginian? Carthaginian? Okay. The greatest Carthaginian of all, Carthage, was learning his trade on those pavements. Frankie Yale himself was cut precisely in half by a machine gun on the corner of Union Street, two blocks away. Oh, there were many here who were justly shot by unjust men. Justice is very important here, but this is the Red Hook, not Sicily. This is the slum that faces the bay on the seaward side of the Brooklyn Bridge. This is the gullet of New York, swallowing the tonnage of the world. Now we are quite civilized, quite American. Now we settle for half, and I like it better. I no longer keep a pistol in my filing cabinet, and my practice is entirely unromantic. My wife has warned me all my friends. They tell me the people in this neighborhood lack elegance, glamour. After all, who have I dealt with in my life? Longshoremen and their wives and fathers and grandfathers, compensation cases, evictions, family squabbles, the petty troubles of the poor, and yet every few years there is still a case. And as the parties tell me when the trouble, what the trouble is, the flat air in my office suddenly washes in with the green scent of the sea. The dust in this air is blown away, and the thought comes that in some Caesar's year, Calabria perhaps, or on the cliff of Syracuse, another lawyer, quite differently dressed, heard the same complaint, and sat there as powerless as I, watched its run, and watched it run its blood. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Sorry, sometimes first reads are always a little choppy just because I have no idea what I'm reading. Uh... Oh, uh, good night, Aya. Uh, good night, everybody. Yep, that'll be it for tonight. Oh, uh, I still got some chores to do, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. And my face feels like it's melted, so. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Uh, may you indulge in your commercial or non-commercial enjoyment of the holiday. And uh, I'll be back on Tuesday. Yeah, let's be normal next week. I'm going to do my laundry. Don't worry, I won't forget. Uh, didn't answer your question. I'm searching. Uh, you'll be playing Warcraft three again. It's my favorite video game of all time. Your favorite? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I might. <laughs> if uh, if people enjoyed Warcraft three, I'm more than happy to play some more of it. It's a little bit of a long game, and it and level to level, it doesn't necessarily change that much. So I wasn't sure how it would do for a series of streams, but I do enjoy it, so I'm willing to play it some more. But, all right. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Yes, me lord.